Thank you for tuning in with Enchantress. That is I, the Baba. That is I, on this evolutionary high. Um, hi. Thank you so much for tuning in. I kind of just hit record and was like, all right. <laughs> Here we are. And so, let us use this time to breathe in, for we are simply divine. Let us acknowledge ourselves at this time, for we are inner powered by the empowerment we drive into our system. This is for our quantum development, our evolution. Whatever brings you here, is because there's something for you here, my dear. And regardless of whatever pool you want to swim from, there's alchemy seeds in here for you to receive. For this is a healing platform that is protected and divine. And oh, so deliciously enchantingly fine. And I welcome you to join Hit the like button subscribe button follow me here on both of my channels for real whichever one you are tuning into at this time um note that one is being phased out so make sure you're following both of them all the information in regards to anything that has to do with you and i collaborating i you can see in the description box below please and if you don't see anything by the time you watch this then please note uh, I'm a solopreneur and I get to stuff when I get to stuff okay you know what I'm saying because that's how it is you know this fabricated bullshit in life that everything has to be perceived to be perfected. You know what I mean? That, oh, her hair is a mess. She did not comb it. She did not get dressed. She should not be listened to. Nonsense. Sick of it. <laughs> you come as you are. Beautiful you are. Perfect you are as you are. Okay? We are beautifully imperfect perfect <laughs> right how much foggle nonsense yeah I make up words I make up words right take it flight like a bird poetry is my sword of truth and we slice through the nonsense and the bull nonsense that people try to create for you to feel insecure due to their lack there of confidence in themselves to be themselves that they gotta be something else or give this image right look out of here with that bullshit <laughs> right either way so I hit record and here we are. Thank you. And welcome you to stay. For there is a lot of alchemical juice for you to drink along the way. Huh. It's funny because I'm looking at a card over there that had gotten flipped over and I literally um did not even see this. But and it's funny too because Wow. Okay. This is how many seeds. That's how true. Okay, and then girl, we'll take it too. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I wasn't even using these cards, okay? But anyways, I see the insecurity. 
it was just what I was, you know, like, you know, highlighting. Come as you are. You are perfect and beautiful as you are. Accept every single part of you. That is one of the most challenging parts of how we are conditioned in our environment to not feel good enough, great enough, or celebrate. Like, look, you need permission to celebrate you and all that you do. That's sad. All because the conditioning that has been generationally, like, just conditioned into our ethers, our atmosphere, is built off of insecure folk who create imprisonments for others because of their fear of someone being better than them, greater than them, doing more than them, being seen more than them, being be like, whatever, the fridge, fudge, blah, 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 blah. Reason. Uh, I'm recording. I'm recording. Okay. I uh, heard you. I heard you. Okay. Give me one second. Welcome back. Okay. So kind of take care of a little something, something, but here we are. Beautiful, right? And it's going back to what I was trying to say prior to the introduction, you know what I mean? So this built-in conditioning, its roots that are so, like, subliminal, too, are, con are, are, are created out of an insecure foundation that once outed shall crumble which is why it, 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 it seeks to project or hide you know or create chaos around and externally in other people's lives because it can't deal with the emotions that we're never meant to be trapped. Everything is designed for evolution. You know? I was working on some material in regards to gratitude, which is why I was like, ah, gratitude. Which makes sense. Make sure you sign up for free on enchantressbebabbler.com Right? And you'll receive a lot of communications from me on some like free coaching kind of things, you know, because I go that deep and there's a lot of things that I do for free that I give. There's a lot of services I offer too that are not free. Um, but you know what I mean? So take advantage of the offering in absolute gratitude. That is my phenomenal attitude. I let that resonate so sweet, so deep. I make love so sweet to the idea of the gratitude, of the thankfulness that I have worked on without my realizing I wasn't working on it for something. I was working on it because the morality in me felt like I needed to be thankful despite. And so I just kept taking thankfulness bite. Sure, it's not easy. I cry a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I want to get all Tyson about. Who's me? <laughs> queen of Swords energy. Or the evil queen of foot I heard. Sure. But I 
let's just give gratitude a little bit more. Expansion some more. Growth. Yeah. Gratitude. Ooh, maybe somebody here gonna get pregnant or is pregnant. Making babies with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Celebrating. Maybe two friends, family members getting pregnant around the same time. I don't know, I'm just hearing some things, guys. There's a multitude of you that will come here through and so take what us it needs. And remember, this is entertainment for your entertainment, okay? Mm -hmm. What he's so insecure about? Divine masculine energy. Why are you covering your heart so much? What's this little fucker over here trying to tell you about something? Or maybe that's how you're looking at it. Like a devil. And so you're here like just, ooh, ferociously. Live some both. Walking away. What what are we walking away from? Seven, eight, nine. Do it a spirit yeah. at this time. Ah, divine masculine. You being so guarded in your heart space that you walking away? <laughs> Deceiving yourself? With some coin? Ignoring the door to speak? Wow. Hey. Cut it out. is needing to be taken here. Oh, the angel of love is here. But what kind of contracts or things are you tying yourself to here when you got a woman holding her heart? Broken. Advised to be patient, you see. Mm, there's a journey happening here. See, a journey is happening here, too, in the realms of the heart and in the realms of the material. Oh, oh my goodness. So the spirit. I mean, you can ignore the call and be disobedient. But it costs much more heavier than the chicka 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 Neo. Hey, Neo, come here. Come here. Hey, come here. Let's make things lighter for you. Let's make things. Baby, be nice. Let's make things lighter for the divine masculine energy. And when I speak divine masculine energies, I don't mean gender-based system because we each have divine masculine and feminine energies existing within ourselves. It's just finding the balance within ourselves to bring that union, that unification, that infusion, that articulation, that understanding, that's comprehending. And then operating with wisdom, with clarity about what 
vibration frequency and action are all stop it Get upset with the messenger for you can click off if you don't want to hear. Okay. Look at my pet ears. Come here, the ears. What is your problem, my dears? You need to open your heart, you see. What kind of love are you denying yourself, you see? Oh, do you like to be pet too? Yeah? Oh, yes. Yes, we rub into the system. Love activation. Right? Oh my goodness. What a feather that we make life lighter and brighter. Right? With compassion. Right? We all know what it feels like to go through stuff. And we all know what it feels like to be afraid. So, to be harsh on another just because their experience is different should never be something that you are like comparing and contrasting and, and sizing up in measures. Challenges are challenges for each of us, no matter the experience. And we're in a dominant, dominating society, generation, culture. Ten. The almighty dollar is very important. The materials, the status, the power, the fame. So I heard in my brain, right? The notoriety. Everybody wants to know. Everybody wants. Everybody wants to be known. Everybody wants to be known. Everybody wants to be known. I want to know. I want to be known. I want to be known. I want my name to be shown. I want my foot in the door. I want to rule forevermore. What leveling of deceit? <laughs> Spirit speaks so deep. I could cry. But I won't. We went through the uncomfortableness of feelings here. You know with that? When you ready, let me know. My mama said, if, if I don't got nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. <laughs> I'm strong Sagittarius in my chart. <laughs> I walk around with my foot in my mouth. And then I look down and the woman holding a coin. This seat. Maybe there's someone whispering in your ear about how it is that you have to do things easier. Well, maybe that's just a generational curse, hot spell, 
black magic, sorcery, kind of nonsense that has been put into the battery of the mix of my life. And everyone just swallow. And those that become awakened attempt to attempt to understand fudge understanding right now. It's understanding right now. So that you can alchemize, align, and rise authentic to yourself, deserving you are to receive the love you seek, the admiration that you deserve. You heard? This is a journey. Rise with Jupiter 1111 when she pulled this card out. Um, she was like, look at how all her bags there. And that made me laugh because I'm bag lady. <laughs> I have four like a double bags and three other different bags with me. I just, and then my yoga. Oh my God. I be packed up from my muscles. <laughs> right? Grateful for my muscles. Right? Here we are, right? So we have them. And then, oh, I just heard, right? We have a, a man holding a coin, a woman holding a coin. Divine masculine, divine feminine energies pairing up, teaming up together to bring more abundance to themselves one which is grand too right as each one journeys into this unification because look at that's two two four five six four five six seven six and seven seven the team is four foundations where two are building foundations. I'm sorry, I reduce everything down to a single digit just to understand something four, five, six, and then that's six, right? Together, but still two unification of two. You can you can put this as uh you know a relationship, a partnering, a contract of some sort, right? But what leveling of deceit, right, is being addressed here is in the dishonoring of whatever exists here, right? So the deceit comes from the insecurity, it comes from the lie, it comes from whatever it is that blocks you from taking action, right? From taking action somewhere else and walking away because of whatever broken heart, right, um, insecurity or imagery you have in your mind in regards to whatever it is that's happening for you at this time, any kind of contracts that you sign or that you feel binded to, you know what I mean? Sometimes we just become so accustomed to our generational feed, our conditioning, right, that we don't see until we take the action that's needed to to pick apart and dissect the amount of investment of thought that we give to a conditioned view that creates our action behaviors that might be not clearly visible at first because it's so conditioned into your system so you know you might be acting in accordance to a preconditioned implant right implant 
that is in you thinking that the awakened part of you is now who's not conscious is making the decision but meanwhile it's still sinking or tied to the principalities or the construct system of the preconditioned one it's very deep i know you need to rewind this you do so you write these things down because it comes in it is profound okay we go that deep but it is that deep for you to understand understand overstand comprehend evolutionize man this is your revolution and that is me here your cosmic mystic evolutionary muse here to entertain entertain you in various creative things you can say it's in my crazy dna right so here you are awakened beautiful <laughs> yeah beautiful but oh, there's still a lot of pieces that make up the whole to bring forth the peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E. you know what I mean? And so, sometimes it takes an external, third party kind of guide, which is why many watch videos like these, or, you know, seek how-tos, or, you know, um, receive coaching, you know, whatever it is that resonates with you that you can do, that you look for, or that you find for you to, you know, grow or, you know, dive deeper than you know, because these are the seeds that you're growing and sowing, um, then, you know, stop doing that. Go over there. become so systematic well you know culture systematic to see something you know one of my very greatest things that I love to do is act in accordance to what another expects in terms or or go completely different than what is expected in terms of response mechanism because there's always going to be an anomaly. So to construct and condition a society, a system, a generation of people to understand a science, a math, to be so rigid and fixed in terms of scientific database and study to say that this is going to be programmed in this kind of way is very arrogant and very, very tyrannical in every kind of way because evolution does not work that way. So, people need to start understanding that. So they can get the tight stick that's locked up their ass out and begin to loosen up about what they think life even is all about. Because those that think they know, they know nothing. They know something. They know nothing. There's so much more. I know shit. <laughs> Put a channel like this. And it is what it is. Right? So, my masculine energy, which is the yang aspect of energy, which is the action, which is the deliberation which is the okay so here you have right you even have the 
the feminine energy popping up over here. Angel of love and the woman holding her heart, right? Oh my. Okay. Right? You have these energies coming in, right? It's the balancing act. So if the divine masculine energy is dishonoring the feminine yin energy within even himself, right? Ah, no, I'm not going to feel these feelings at this time. I'm going to ignore this at this time. I'm not going to pay attention. I got to work on this pinnacle at this time. I got to work on this foundation at this time. I got to work on this thing. But meanwhile, like, you know, not getting to the root of that too, because he's ignoring how he feels because passion is real, right? How do you, how do you put passion underneath the carpet? The suppression, oppression, that's a lie, that's blasphemy to your whole entire system, right? So, like, here you are just honoring your system. So how do you ever expect to create the abundance that you truly seek? Because once you just reach that, you know, realize that's why they say, oh, you know, money isn't everything or anything like that. But, like, just still, like, the insecurity comes probably from, you know, whatever everyone's um, situation is going to be different, like their experience is different, how you perceive the world, receive the world is, you know, very um, individualized because each of us, you know, are responsible for our own perceptions, you know, even with the distortions that are given to us from birth. So either way, like, it's just how one begins to entertain the insecurities that do deceive, right? Because you have to understand that if you're seeing from this perspective, feeling from this perspective, right? Right? Focus on this perspective because that's a tangible perspective. You think that, okay, let me just focus on this, right? And ignore this, right? Right? And you're creating with a root like this. What kind of bliss you think you're creating? That's a that's a lie. A self delusional lie. And you deserve better than that. There's no reason. To hide. Behind. A devil. That is smaller than you. It's just a matter of what you feed. What you choose to feed. Okay, let's get some soul truths. Soul truths for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Absolutely. I'll do, I'll do. Let's get some soul truth messages for you. So, the dissection process of how we operate and do things are tied into our conditioned behavioral patterns that are surfacing at this time. Let us not respond traditionally to things. It does not serve your alignment now. Take apart the worries. Be open to feeling uncomfortable in your feelings. It's revealing something to you. And you thank yourself for that. Seriously. Thank yourself for that.
probably fix yourself later. You're like, oh, I was being such a fool. Am I willing? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. Today's soul action. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra, it's possible. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> let's make light. Let's shine bright. Let's make light of our fears. Let us rise, my dear. I am strong. I am confident. I know my song. I write the lyrics to every song I sing. I know the energy I bring. I am confident in who I am. I rise authentic. I take my stance. I am beautiful. I am divine. I am imperfectly perfect and that is also fine. I love myself. I adore me in honor of me. I rise and shine and know that I am a gift to light as a feather is you, is I. Beautiful. I am so thankful for this experience. I am so open for my expansion. I am so intentional with my purpose. I am so open to receive the divine wisdom and guidance that lives in me, mind, body, heart, and soul. I am whole. For a lot of like revolutionary, evolutionary alchemy, please do visit my website and sign up. It's free. And there are things, like I said, that, you know, are extra too. But there is a lot of available um, powerhouse alchemy sweet tooth treats that I do gift to those that take the extra step into just signing up, providing your email information, and you would evolve further on your own journey. Not that you can't evolve without me, <laughs> but we rise together. And so I like those kind of things better. And, um, as I grow, it grows too. Also, my blog, my baby, enchantingbabble.blogspot.com. You can sign up there too for free to never miss a beat of love and alignment from me. I am your personal cosmic evolutionary muse here, available to each and every one of you with the alchemy that I bring and work damn motherfudging hard for. Well, challenging has it sure been. I have some stories to share with you more in regards to the expose of rising from my own abuse of life once upon a time ago that is opening a can of whip ass. <laughs> Not a can of whip ass, but just, you know. It's being a trigger for some. 
and no longer are we silenced, oppressed, suppressed. I am expression at my best, for I rise in my truth, in my line, for I seek peace and wisdom, in love I shine. I do what is right in alignment and truth, serving the greatest, most highest of creation. In gratitude, thankful I am to serve me in peace and love and alignment that reaches the collective energies at this time. If you ask who, yeah, yeah. Who Soul truth, what soul truth do we have for this collective coming right now? Here we go. If I had a magic wand and could have anything I desired in life, what would I choose? Yes. Burn with desire. There is power in your desires. Let them be your fuel today. Your desires are your soul's wings and it's time to take flight. Today's soul action. Today go inward. Your answers lie within. What do you desire? Be for real. Like, this is the divine masculine energy. Take action on how you feel. What are you desiring for real? Choose what makes you happy and do that. What passion am I ready to pursue? What? Your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's soul action. Write a list of the passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Be for real. What passion burns within you for real? Mm -hmm. Let it reveal. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. Thank you so much. You're adorable. I hope that you... Understand that, understand that, understand that, comprehend that, do what you need to do. Um, enlightenment to you. This is entertainment for your entertainment making light. Code activations, part of your evolutionary elevation. Thank you. Have a wonderful, day. <laughs> Namaste.